Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be dry cutting a square layered haircut with a bonus face frame money piece balayage. We start the haircut with a thick, slight diagonal forward section, directing the hair down into natural fall. We simply point cut our square line, maintaining zero elevation, cutting square to our section. We continue with thick sections and repeat the same process. Dry cutting is the opposite of wet precision cutting. We take thick sections as we want to create graduation in our line, enhancing texture and movement. Point cutting will also allow even more movement in our shape. If you haven't seen my wet precision version of this haircut, you can find it in the bio below. You can use a club cutting and also deep point cutting technique to clean the line and to add additional texture if necessary. Dry cutting is an amazing tool for all hair types as it works with the client's natural growth patterns and hair texture. It's very effective in wavy and curly hair textures. To complete the line, I'm deep point cutting 90 degrees straight up into the line. This will help to soften and add more texture and movement. I'm starting the layering in the top zone using a wide tooth low to no tension comb to elevate 90 degrees straight up before point cutting under my comb to cut a structured yet textured layer. This becomes my guide for the back zone. We continue this process until we run out of hair near the occipital bone. I take a guide from the crown and cut a center guide in the top zone, maintaining 90 degrees square elevation. We complete the top zone with horizontal sections using the guide from our center profile section. To maintain balance on both sides, it can be easier to cut from the front on the opposite side. If your scissors face towards the parting when cutting on the first side, it's best to continue the same scissor direction on the opposite side. This will ensure you maintain a balanced haircut layered shape. I am cutting the bang area in one section, creating mass texture and movement in the face framing. This haircut should take less than 20 minutes and your clients should arrive with their hair in its natural wave or curl. If you have the time, you should upgrade your service with a quick fun face frame money piece balayage to elevate your client's look. I'm simply applying light clay lightener and 40 volume peroxide. You can find my beginner's guide to freehand balayage in the bio below. With this dry air technique, I'm simply picking up sections and painting the clay lightener, making sure I emulsify the product thoroughly through my section. Today I will be focusing on the face frame and money piece. If you'd like a more in-depth tutorial and a beginner's guide to freehand balayage, check out the upcoming tutorial next. 
Dry cutting and freehand balayage is a fun, quick way to work with beautiful textured hair and to enhance the textured hair with soft, warm, beautiful tones. Perfect for brunettes, bronze, any color with two shades of lift. You can always tone back to beautiful caramels blending into lighter blondes in the face frame. This is a super fast technique for massive impact. A great way to increase your revenue on the salon floor and to provide fun, fast, effective color to your clients. If you dry cut or do freehand balayage, let me know in the comments below. Or if you've learned something new and you value my work, please hit the subscribe button and like this tutorial. It'll help to push out my work to other hairdressers like you wanting to learn and engage in great online YouTube education. Some of these techniques I've used in this video today, I've learned from the amazing Mr. D. You can check him out on Instagram or you can follow his YouTube channel at Delilah Hair Studio. If you're not comfortable with open air balayage, you could always foliage this zone or TZ light to get a very similar effect. If you haven't already watched, you should check out my square layered haircut tutorial. It's a wet precision version of this haircut. I'd really love to know what you think of the difference between the two and whether you'd use both of these skills as tools on the salon floor. I'm thinking I'm going to tone this face frame money piece with a peachy caramel toner using a combination of a copper gold on a seven level with seven natural and just a tiny smudge of seven ash. This will create a very warm, slightly flattened coral caramel effect, which will look really great in spring or autumn or for any clients with the coloring that can pull off a beautiful warm coppery caramel color this is my dry cut square layered haircut if you liked this tutorial you have to watch this one next 